people and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series where I try to get you the most MGP possible from the Gold Saucer minigame here in the Gold Saucer every Friday when judging begins. This week is week 158 and the theme is of bright mind and spirit. The clues then individually include future armor for your helm, autumn chill for your body, leather underfoot for your feet, and proto posh for your earring slot. In this video, we'll have a 100 score, an 80 with dies, and the easiest 80 we could come up with. First of all then, let's have a look at that 100 score. Right then, for the 100 then, our helm I chose this time around was the Replica Sky Rat Mask of Fending. The Replica Sky Rat stuff is actually um, basically equipable by any class in the game, level 1 and above. It's essentially glamour version of the original Sky Rat stuff, uh, which used to be level 60. You can actually craft this with Goldsmith in particular. So any of the Sky Rat or Replica Sky Rat Masks will work. I went for the Fending one, you could go for Maiming, Casting, Healing or Aiming. Alternatives beyond that include the Shaded Visor, which is from the Sea of Clouds, from Lumo Vanu, from the Vanu Vanu tribe at trusted reputation rank for about 8,000 gil. And then the other alternative is the Charlian Goggles, which you can get at the Gold Saucer itself from the prize claim one vendor for 20,000 MGP. All of those will give you gold rating this week. For the chest then, I went with the Alpine Coat. This is actually acquired throughout the MSQ. Uh, in particular, the quest is called Litany of Peace, if you remember. If you've misplaced this after doing your MSQ, you can get this back at a Calamity Salvager for 100 gil, so not too bad. Alternatives do include the Adept's Gown, which you can get for 135 yellow crafter scripts, the Urius Coat, which you probably have used before for Glamour, which is crafted with Leather Worker, obviously obtainable on the market board as well, the Kiramu Coat, the Chivalric Coat of Striking, the Chivalric Coat of Scouting, and the Griffin Leather Coat of Striking. All of those will give you gold rating this week. Then, for the final one on the left side of the armor, we have the leather shoes for our feet. The leather shoes then incredibly easy and affordable to get from Gwalter or any other low-level uh, city-state vendor. Uh, Gwalter then will sell you these leather shoes for 115 gil from the Disciple of Hand and Land tab levels 1 to 9. So, quite easy to get. Alternatively, you could go for the hard leather shoes as well, also from Gwalter but I don't see the point in, you know, the difference, really. They're, they're both basically the same value, and one's just higher level than the other. They're, they're all equipable by all classes for all levels. And then finally for the 100, we went for the Proto Ultima Earrings of Slaying here. Now, specifically, there's a quest called Unidentified Flying Object in Idleshire back in Heavenswood. And uh, essentially, inside the uh, goblin's little hut over here you can pick this quest up and once a week because this is weekly um you can actually go into uh, dunscafe which is the alliance one of the alliance raids from heavensward and completion of which with this quest enabled will give you a heat shield you can then come back to this hut in idleshire turn in your quest get the heat shield and then talk to a vendor nearby and you can exchange this for any proto ultimate earring of your choice or, well, any Proto Ultima accessory, really. But any Proto e uh, Ultima earring will work for any class. Uh, I just had the slaying one lying around all the way uh, since Heavensward. There are no other alternatives, as far as I can tell, for this slot. So I guess you're going to go do this quest and do Dunscape. It's not too difficult. I'm sure you could fit it into your Relic Grind if you're at that stage already. Anyway, that's the 100. Let's move on to an 80 with dies. Right then, onto your die options. As you can see, we've got an 82 here, but this is just because of having something in every slot, uh, including that earring. It gives you an extra couple of points. But you'll see that the best in slot dies then are Snow White on your weapon, Jet Black on your helm, we've got Orchard Brown on your chest, and then your gloves as well. And then we have Jet Black on our legs, and then Orchard Brown on our feet. So two Jet Black dies might be putting you off from actually doing the die option. The Orchard Brown's fairly easy to get. It's just NPC purchasable for 40 gil. And um, obviously Snow White is from Ixali vendors originally, but you should be able to get that on the market board. 
no problem. So yeah, two jet black dies. Is that going to be everyone's cup of tea? Probably not. But never fear, we have an easy 80 at hand. Essentially, for the easy 80, all you need to do, do is die any chess piece in the game, Orchard Brown, and then ha any hands in the game, Orchard Brown as well, and then equip the leather shoes from low-level city-state vendors such as Gwalter. If you have those two dies on your chest and your uh, hands, and then you equip the leather shoes, you will get an 80 guaranteed, but make sure you have something equipped in every slot of your equipment. If you do have something in every slot, then you'll get 80. If not, then you won't. It's as simple as that. But there we go. A very, very easy 80 then, and that's probably the best bet if you want to do this on all of your characters and alts and such. If you want to go farm some MGP on those for the week, very simple. Anyway, thank you kindly for watching. Thank you uh, very much to Kaiko Star and the rest of the community uh, for tirelessly doing this every week and posting up all different solutions. If you have your own solutions to Fashion Report, any other items you found that work for gold rating or otherwise, feel free to post those in the comments of these videos. It does help other viewers as well that are browsing. They can scroll down and have a look what other people did. So much love, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.